how much did this procedure cost? So in a, in the States, it's... You went to Turkey, right? Yeah, I chose to go to Turkey because it's much better there. Uh, in the States, it's like 150000 for both, like to do both. In Turkey, for both together, it was like $81,000. $81,000? $81, $81,000, bro? Yeah. $81,000. You don't yeah. think you could have bought something else to make people be like, yo, I'm fucking with him to make you feel confident? It wasn't about them. It was about me. It was, it was about, about the way Period. I saw myself. Mm -hmm. I don't care how other people... See. Did you see yourself short? I did. I saw myself as like, I saw myself as a small man. Even though I would put on a lot of weight while I was in the military, I still saw myself as a small man. And do, I hated it. Do you know the average height in the United States? 5'9". It's 5'7", I think. It's 5'9". It's 5'9". I'm sure nine. you know. I'm not going to question you. I'm it's sure five you nine. researched it's it. It's 5'9". Five five nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. So, and you went, what's your height now? Six foot. You pretty decent, bro. I ain't going to lie. Like, you was, pause. You pretty tall, bro. Like, when I seen you in the outside of this, and I was like, yo, you pretty Good height. The funny thing is I almost went for a third surgery until I saw how tall I was after the second one. After the first surgery, I was like five, nine and a half. Okay, explain to us how this ling limb lengthening thing works. So is it like a little rod that just could keep stretching if you wanted it to or what? Not technically, but not exactly because your body has limitations. So basically what happens is they break the bone, they put a rod in the bone, and then they put a device outside the leg that connects to the rod in your leg. I just can't imagine uh, destroying my body like that for confidence issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm, okay, I'm cool with the fact that, you know, you get your teeth done. I'll get my teeth done. But outside of that, for a man, you know what I'm saying? And I, we, we all talked about the different issues with the BBLs and the difference between what's natural and what's not, what's not natural with women. But I don't even think that we fully come to a conclusion of what that is because some people say natural is for women. Um, it's not having anything extra in your hair so you have you have or they have the women have their authentic hair but then they may be able to do whatever it is that they want with it right they don't have no pieces they don't have no wigs and other you know none of that type of stuff then other people say that natural is you don't mess with the natural state of your hair even if it does not have anything additional in it right but then obviously we all know that the bbls the fake boobs and all of that other type of stuff right those are without a doubt you know uh, an offense for a lot of guys because why mess with something and then make it so outsized to where you can literally just fix it with dieting and going to the gym and everything like that right and so the things that men look for in women from an attraction perspective especially the type of women that they would want to marry and have children with is completely different from the things that women look for in men, which is primarily provision and protection, right? But for men, it's different, right? Because the confidence is key. And that's what a lot of guys don't even understand. I'm going to be honest with you. As a guy that's 5'7", I am 5'7", um, and I have never in my entire life ever complained about ever getting women. Now, caveat to that, I did get married when I was 22 years old because that's what we did in our family, and that's the standard, right? My brothers got married. Uh, all three of them, my father got married early and he stayed married, obviously, until my mom was widowed in 2017. And then she remarried a guy that's very similar to him. And my father is actually shorter than me. I believe my father had to be like five, five. Uh, my oldest brother has to be like five, 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 four. And he always got baddies. I mean, always got baddies. Uh, my second oldest brother was like 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, My youngest brother is like six foot something. So, you know, and those are all of the, the guys that's on my mother's side. All of those guys are like very, very tall. And then my father and his brother was relatively short, like 5'6", five, 5'5", five, five, whatever, so on and so forth, right? But I guess the point that I'm making is that maybe we just got instilled with so much confidence when we were younger to where all through middle school, all through high school, and then even my adulthood, like I've always walked around with a level of confidence, so much so to where, yeah, I knew that I was short, but I didn't even realize how big of an issue that was until I started paying attention to what everybody was talking about on the internet as far as, you know, six foot, six, whatever, so on and so forth. That ain't never been a problem. For anybody that I know that's been in my inner circle, and I ain't even just talking about my brothers or my uncles or anything like that. That has never been a problem for guys in general. Like, 
in high school and college and even today, I know dudes that bust down baddies on a regular basis. They ain't giving them no money. They ain't giving them a dime. They ain't leaving with their money. They just chilling. You know what I'm saying? If you're not the wifey, then you don't get nothing. If you don't work for them or if you don't work for me, you don't get nothing. And, I, you know, I never understood dudes that that felt as though they had to alter themselves like women do in order to be able to go and get baddies or go out, go out and get women, right? Like part of part of who you are is the confidence that you walk in. Like, like you know, I can understand, you know, you changing your clothes, you know what I'm saying? You're making sure that your teeth white, you're making sure that your hair is cut, whatever state that that, that is, right? If you want to, if you got a beard, if you can grow a beard, if you can't grow a beard, um, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things that you do that make you confident. When you go to the gym and you're in a good space and you're starting to lose weight, you get a little bit more confidence. You get a little bit more, you know, bounce when you go on the basketball court. It extends into everything that you do. When you look good at work, when you smell good, when your breath smell good, you move with a little bit more confidence. And so, you know, but but this is some new stuff. This is completely new. This is a different game where guys are changing from being five, 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 six to five, nine and then going to six feet. And then they need that. And it's funny because when I was looking at this guy's uh, thing, I had seen him before and I seen him before. And I believe don't quote me on this because it may be more than one guy out here that did it. But I believe this same guy, he's switching the narrative now. Now he's saying, no, I did it for me. I did it for whatever. So on and so forth. And I was thinking about going to get a third, third surgery. That's a. But then I had seen him before say that he did it because he felt like, you know, the women and everybody was being dismissive towards him. That's wild to me. But then he thought about going to get a third surgery and spending 80, 81 bands for surgeries, for leg lengthening. And you probably got to be out for like a year or two. Yo, I will be walking on pins and needles thinking that I'm a just what happens if you get injured? What if, what happened if you land too hard on your leg or whatever like that? Right. And it's like, listen, at this point, I'm on the fence about extending a level of grace to guys that decide that they want to do this type of stuff because women have been altering the game for a long time. And so, but at the same time, it's like, would I ever suggest a dude to do it? Absolutely not. I'd rather you put that 80 bands and invest that. I'd rather you flip that. I'd rather you pay off your debt. I'd rather you, you know what I'm saying? Do something that's actually going to add value into your life or your family's life or anything like that. I don't want you out here spending a bag and I'm trying to figure out what these dudes do for a living. If everybody, if all of these chicks got this money to just be flying out and getting all of these extra surgeries, but then they sitting on a bunch of debt. And I'm trying to understand what these guys do for a living. How, if, if the overwhelming majority of people is, is messed up and saddled with debt, these dudes got to be busting down some major bags in order to be able to justify the surgery. Got to be busting down some major bags to just... Ju <laughs> Is wild. Listen, 80 bands on leg lengthening surgery. I'm listen, I'm you ain't never got to worry about me. I am very, very comfortable uh, with my height. I'm very, very comfortable. If anybody has ever met me in person, if you've ever came to a Patreon meetup, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I got a new meetup coming in in October, late October in DC. If anybody has ever kicked it with me in person, the vibes is going to be the vibes. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what we do. We're going to make it shake. We're going to make it move. But the one thing that I'm not going to do is I am not about to have my legs broken and have rods inserted into it in order to extend my height. For what? You think it's ever going to be a shortage of box for you to be able to go and get? Listen, you control the controllables. You go out. I guess that is a new controllable, right? That's why I, I don't know what to think about this, right? I don't want to shame because it's like, listen, if bro needed that in order to get, you know what I'm saying, get this, get his confidence up so he can get his bag up so he can move a little bit differently, maybe it extends over into every part of his life. I just can't see it. I can't, I can't justify it. I don't care how much money I make. I don't care how much I make per year. 80000 and you got to go over to a foreign country to do it? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Also, make sure you tap into the Millionaire Morning Show. We popping that off 1045 a.m. Eastern every weekday morning. Uh, and then get that Teach Hanley. 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace.